In the context of gas phase chemistry, you'll hear the chemist refer to something called the molar volume of the gas. We can use the concept of the molar volume of a gas to estimate the moles of gas present. Um, a molar volume refers to the amount of volume occupied by one mole of a gas at a particular temperature and pressure. We can think about the notion of the molar volume in the context of the ideal gas law. PV equals nRT. The notion is the amount of volume occupied by a gas at some uh, one mole of a gas at some particular pressure and temperature. So we can rearrange the, the um, ideal gas law in terms of volume divided by number of gas moles equals RT over P. And for any ideal gas, the molar volume will be some fixed quantity at some fixed temperature and pressure. Typically, we'll hear the scientists refer to something called the standard molar volume. The standard molar volume is the molar volume of a gas at particular conditions called standard temperature and pressure, or STP, standard temperature and pressure. The standard temperature for a gas is 0 degrees Celsius, or 273 Kelvin. The standard pressure for a gas is one atmosphere, or more recently, one bar. Most data, however, has been calculated in terms of standard pressure as one atmosphere, so that's what we'll talk about here. The standard molar volume, then, is the volume that one mole of a gas occupies at standard temperature, 273 Kelvin, and standard pressure, one atmosphere pressure. Using uh, the ideal gas law, you can calculate what the standard molar volume is under these conditions. Uh, if we remember that R is the universal gas constant in terms of atmospheres, it's 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere mole Kelvin. Let's see, times... Um, T, standard temperature, would be 273 Kelvin divided by P, pressure, one atmosphere. And when you do the math here, the standard molar volume is 22.414 liters per one mole of gas. So what that means is, under standard conditions, one mole of a gas occupies 22.414 liters of space. Now we can use this information to answer questions such as estimate the total number of moles of air, which is a mixture of mostly nitrogen and oxygen, that would be present in a 10 liter balloon at standard temperature and pressure. So basically what we have is a gas beha behaving ideally, doesn't matter what the gas is, in this case it's a mixture, and we're curious as to how many moles of gas would be present um, in, ten, in a 10 liter balloon at STP. So what you can do then is say, okay, what's given is 10 liters of some gas at standard temperature and pressure. And what's wanted is how many moles of gas um, are occupying that space. Now you could use the ideal gas law and solve for N or you can use the concept of the standard molar volume because we know we're at standard temperature and pressure and we know that that is 22.4 liters. So we can estimate by saying, well, what's given is 10 liters at STP. We know that for any gas, it occupies 22.4 liters of space for every one mole of that gas under those conditions. And so you can solve uh, for uh, moles in this way and you end up with 0.45 moles of the air in that 10 liter balloon. That makes sense because we know that one mole occupies 22.4 liters, so if we cut our volume in half, we'll cut our amount about in half, and so it's about 0.45 moles.